Hi, today I'll show you how to use one of the finest Elementor from builder named Metform. It's a drag and drop based powerful from builder that helps you to create online forms without a single line of code. Metform offers dedicated fields to collect different types of data and is integrated with some of the most popular newsletter platforms, payment methods and CRM services to streamline your workflow. Some of its WoW features are powerful ready-made from library, easy calculation, Google recapture, email notification, effortless simple repeater, conditional fields, file upload, capture browser data, and so on and on. We recommend you to have a look at its landing page to know more about this plugin. I don't want to hold you up anymore, so let's get into the steps of using this plugin. After you have installed Metform and Elementor in your dashboard, you are ready to use it. Go ahead and edit any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, from the widget panel, search Metform. Drag in the Metform widget on your page. Then from the left side, click Edit From. And then you'll have two options. The first one is Select From and the second one is the New. If you select the first option, from this option you can select your already created from. But I want to show you how you can start creating from the scratch or you can use our library. To do this, select New. Then you have to name your from. I want to name it met from WP Met. Now if you want to start from a blank page, you can select the first option or if you want to use our existing library, you can use this option. Then click edit from. There I would like to remove the recapture because I'm using localhost and now I can customize this existing from. Now let me show you some of the widgets that comes with met from. The first widget that I would like to use is upload because I want my user to upload some photo and then I would like to use repeater. And I want this button to be full width. Now there are some of the most important things to remember when you use Metform. For example, when you want to integrate email notification, you must use an email field. And how will you find it? Go to the widget panel and search email. And there is the email field. I must drag in here and this is it. Now there is an already created email field so I don't want to use the second one. And another thing is that when you are trying to work with the user first name and last name or trying to integrate newsletter platforms you must use two different types of field. The first one is the first name listing. This is it first name listing and the second one is the last name listing. And in case you need an email you must use that email widget that I have already showed you. If you feel that you're completely new at this platform and you know nothing about this, we have detailed documentation and video guideline to help you that I'll show you later on this video. After editing these things, click update and close. Now let's see the light preview. Now it's time to show you from where you can use the email notification and the features I have discussed at the beginning of the video. Go to the dashboard, after that click Metform. Now this is the form that I have already created. Now go to the setting. Now if you click general, they will have some option to use the recapture and map. Now go to the payments, they will have the options to integrate your payment method. Now if you go to the newsletter, they will have some of the newsletter platform to integrate. Then you have the CRM services to use. Now go to the forms. This is the form that I have created. Click edit, there you can change the success methods and some other important things like if you want to collect the browser data, you need to enable this option. Alright, now go to the notification and enable the admin notification. Now we have a detailed documentation of using this feature and now if you go to the confirmation, it's basically for the user part, enable it and there you have to set up your email to send confirmation to the user. Now let me show you from where you can see the user entries. This is the form that I have created and already filled up. Click send message, I mean submit. After that, we can come here, then click entries. And these are the entries that are coming from the user end. And there is a name met from WP met, which I have given to my recent form. So I'll click view. And these are the data that I have already passed through this form. There is a file option, you can click view to see the image or you can download it. If you go to the landing page and at the top, you'll find the menu from there, go to help. The first option is the docs. From here, you can find the documentation, our support center link, roadmap 
and you can also submit your ideas and you can see the change log too. Now if you scroll down, and there you'll find more than 50 different types of demos that are coming with the Metform. This is the first one and this is the multi-step demo. This is another one. This is the conditional field, feedback from, volunteer application, booking from, even from, job application, loan application, restaurant reservation, and so on and on. You can get all these ready-made demos with the Metform. If you still feel that you need to know more about this plugin, you can click on this button and you start having a conversation with us. And this is all about the things you need to know in order to start using this platform. Thank you for watching this video.